back, everybody. I'm Patrick B. Smith, and we're back. Another video reaction. Yes, we're back at the Carpenters. Yeah, it's been quite some time, guys, but yes, I'm still here. Just had to make some progress and upgrades, and we're just back ready to roll like we never left. However, being that it's been a while since I've done a video by the Carpenters, I was kind of going through some of the requests, and I came across a video very interesting video because it looks as if Karen is on the drums. It says her debut on the show. I'm not sure what the show is, but it's 1968. And the song that they're performing is Dancing in the Street, which is, um, I believe, uh, Martha and the Vandellas. And I also believe that Marvin Gaye co-wrote the song. And the song, the original song, was also part of the civil rights. There's a lot of history behind the song from what I understand. But I think it's kind of cool to see that, you know, Carpenters did a, a cover of it. And I'm just kind of here to see what Karen and Richard looked like and sounded like this early in their career. 1968, that's pretty early. So I'm all here for it. I'm always excited when I check out videos about them because... I know we talk a lot about Karen's voice, but the harmony that they do, and not just the harmony, the musicians and the musical background is like heavenly, you know? So I always hear for our Carpenters. Um, I'm just ready to check this out, and then we'll talk more about Carpenters in the end. This is them performing their cover, Dancing in the Street. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the other side. And they play jazz, and they play blues, you name it. Right now, they're going to play Dancing in the Street. From California State at Long Beach, the Dick Carpenter Trio. Here they are.
Okay, first of all, that was a lot. Now, what was the name of the group before? Did they say Dick and the Carpenters? I, I didn't catch that part, but I'm not sure who the guy was on hitting the baseline, but maybe y'all can let me know who that was, but whoever he was, the name's not important at the moment is what he did at the time. Incredible. First of all, they all killed it on each instrument. That was a performance, especially for the 60s. It's crazy that, you know, I'm so late into catching up to the Carpenters. I'm also, I wasn't born in the 70s or the 60s. I was born later in the 80s, but also I have a good eye and ear of whenever I see a great band, how amazing they are as a group. You know, everybody can easily talk about Karen's voice because it is phenomenal. <laughs> Her voice just takes your breath away. It's just the things she can do, you know, her inflections, her power, her lightness, her tone, her control. It's like pitch perfect. And it just amazes me how she just glides through the song. Oh, I'm distracted because, again, I could talk about her voice forever. But her on the drums today, that solo was giving it. That all came in, and I love Richard's part. I mean, I've always loved him, but it's the way he played the keys. It's it's like the keys has a verse of the song. You know, it's playing along and singing with the song. It's like, I honestly, magic. I don't know why it took me so long to watch that. I also love that song still. Like I said, just listen to how it still relates to the day. And that's what you call timeless music. You know, rather it's sung by the Carpenters. It's just the performance, the nature of the song and how the song makes you feel. So I'm all here for it. I'm all here for it. Hopefully someday, one day, we can just all move forward together in the same direction. Let go all the animosity and division. And maybe, maybe one day, we'll all be happy and free. But... Either way, so happy, so grateful, so blessed to be able to still be here and enjoy music like this. So many more to come. Interaction about Carpenters, let me know. Otherwise, like, comment, and subscribe, and y'all be safe.